MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp's CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head up to Central Park. Looks like Doc checked in. Peter, I've had an epiphany. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential, shackled to a tired, old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Where are you, MJ? Crap. Reach him! That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Out of the way, fella. What was that? Gotta move. Now. Gonna check on our house guest. Stay here. Copy. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. What's that? Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Guess it was nothing. Got it. Time to move. Standish. I knew it. I've got to get to that tent. him for long. How's it looking? Convoy gonna be ready? Fuck. Continuing. Standing down control. False alarm. Get that truck moving. Should have been up town half an hour ago. Copy. We're rolling. Go, go, go. Bravo and Charlie are both on deck for Dr. Michael's relocation, ma'am. Stay alert. I think we got company. Scott Movement, stand by. Looks important. 
If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. Gotta move. There's Standish's tent. Can't believe Michaels just carries devil's breath around with him. Osborne doesn't trust anyone else. Again? What's up with these lights? Charles Standish? Holy crap! Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? Lee sent you. Didn't he? No. Okay. He wants to kill me? You tell him to do it. Do it himself. I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter. And I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Watson. I've read your byline. Sable won't listen to me. She has Michaels in the Bowery. They're moving him to a new safe house tomorrow at noon. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central? The demons were talking about it when they held me. They're going there to get... To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... Charles! Oh! What the hell? He's not a Sable guy. Definitely not a Sable guy. Something. Sorry, Charlie. Get the back up over here. Okay, time to Wait, go. No, he knows something. <laughs> well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. MJ is not happy. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out and you destroy my background research, and the best you got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? What? MJ, no, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker? Right. <sighs> you know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. You snuck into the middle of an armed military. You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Did you learn anything about Dr. Michaels? <sighs> Fine. Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. Awesome. Anything else? Was he saying something about Grand Central before I jumped in? He was... No. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Peter. That's how you know she's still mad. Peter. Nice work, Mr. Superhero. Man, I'm worked up. Gotta blow off some steam on patrol. MJ, I'm at the first location on your list, and guess what I found? Demons? Give the lady a prize. See if you can figure out what they're up to while I introduce myself. Peter, that location is supposedly an importer of souvenirs for Chinatown shops. What they're importing is not something I want as a memento. Drugs? Demons. Looks like they bring in their buddies in shipping containers. Explains how foreign nationals with criminal records are getting into the country. MJ, call the police. All the demons are incapacitated. Don't forget to bring me a souvenir. MJ, I'm at location number two. Can you believe these demons wear their masks just like walking around? Those make for confusing staff meetings. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it. Two shot 
Peter, that bit was listed as an importer of computer parts. Huh. I didn't know they'd started making laptops out of guns. So it's an armor? Not for long. I'm about to get some payback for Jeff Davis and everyone else who killed the city hall. MJ, everything's quiet here now. You didn't get too carried away, did you? What they did was horrible, but... but you're not. MJ, I'm at the third location. Apparently, it's casual mask day at the office. Finally, a job where you'll fit right in. Until you start with the face kicking. Yeah, I have a feeling HR is not going to be too happy with me. Peter, it looks like Lee took over a legitimate auto repair business. Explains where the demons get all their vehicles. Trucks, ambulances. Exactly. You shut this down, they'll have a tougher time moving around the city unnoticed. MJ, I may have just done the opposite of repair at this repair shop. Don't worry, I'll get the cops down there. They'll clean things up. Once again, a low-information member of Spider-Man's cult, sorry, fan club, wants to make him a saint. Sounds insane, but I always hear people out before passing judgment. Go ahead, caller. Yes, well, Spider-Man has been all over the city, stopping crimes, large and small, helping people, doing good. Wrong, wrong, wrong! I thought you were gonna hear me out. I've heard enough. Rational arguments are clearly lost on you, madam, but there may be hope for others out there, so let me go over it again. It is not helping when a vigilante leaps into the middle of a crime scene or emergency situation with no training, expertise, or public identity. What if he injures someone? Who holds him accountable? The answer, my friends, is me. MJ, I'm at the fourth place on your list. They're not even trying to pretend they're legit. It's just sad when criminals don't take pride in their work anymore. I'll see what I can find out. Peter, that location's a clearinghouse for donations to charities, clothes, books. And they're trucked in from drop boxes all over town. Sounds like a perfect distribution network for drug running. Which it looks like is their real priority. MJ, I've got the place locked down. Great. I'll call in an anonymous tip. I bet if the police check out those drop boxes, they'll find something more interesting than secondhand jeans. MJ, I'm at the fifth location. Either there's a weird cosplay thing going on, or it's the demons. Could be both. They need social lives, too. Well, let's see if I can make some new friends. Or enemies. Peter, that place is supposed to be a bespoke furniture manufacturer. From what I can see, it's more like illegal weapons. And this might come as a shock, but I don't think they're really bespoke. The hipster assassins are gonna be so disappointed. MJ, call the police. I've got the place secured. Nice job. Anytime we can get guns off the street, it's a win. That's all the places I could link to Martin Lee. We just made life a lot harder for the demons. And easier for the DA to build a case against him. Thanks, MJ. I owe you dinner. Ooh, nice. What price range are we talking about? Any place you want. That has a dollar menu. <laughs> Still beats that time you tried to make dumplings. Savvy listeners don't need me to tell you that the demons cult, gang, terrorist organization, all the above apply, is out of control. We have a survivor of one of their brazen attacks on the line. Go ahead. Pardon me. I was home in my building when we got word there were demons on the roof planting bombs. We had to evacuate, but we also heard there were snipers waiting to pick us off when we tried to leave. Despicable. Fortunately, the police and the bomb squad handled the situation. And Spider-Man, he... Jared, cut the call! <laughs> Sorry, hard to hear when we're talking over each other. Clearly someone traumatized by a terrifying experience. For resources to help with PTSD, go to our website. Another public service from J. Jonah Jameson.